I'm Josh Blake. I'm a Connect for Windows MVP and Technical Director of the InfoStrat Advanced Technology Group. In this video, I'm going to explain what natural user interfaces are, some of the things you should consider when creating great natural user interfaces, and how Connect fits into all of these ideas. You may notice me moving my hands during this presentation. That's because I'm actually using the Connect sensor to advance my slides. Let's start with what is the natural user interface? One of the ways that we can think about natural user interfaces is by considering what came before it. At one point, the main way that we used computers was through the command line interface. Command line interfaces were difficult to learn and for people to use. As computers became powerful enough, graphical user interfaces became practical. And this expanded the world of computing and interaction to many new tasks. GUI took over many of the tasks that were done by command line as well, but the command line was still used for what it does best. NUI continues this expansion of the world of interaction to many scenarios that were not possible with GUI and mouse and keyboard. The key to this, again, is more powerful computers, but also new devices and sensors. So one may be tempted to say the key to natural user interfaces is using one of these new devices or new sensors. Consider, though, what it would be like if you used a Kinect with an interface designed for a mouse. This would be a poor experience. So using the devices is part of the puzzle, but there's more to it. One may also say that a natural user interface requires the interface to be intuitive. Again, this is only part of the puzzle. Is as they say, the only intuitive interface is the nipple, and everything else is learned. I like to think about NUI as being the most appropriate interface for a scenario. We have to consider the user, task, device, and environment when creating a natural user interface. All of these things are important for creating the best interface for each user, whether it's the general public, or a child, or a professional. Each type of task, such as whether they're using content or interacting with their voice. What types of devices you have varies by if you're using a tablet or a motion tracking sensor. And all of these may be completely different if you're using it in one environment, such as the public, or in your home, or in the car. When people ask me what a natural user interface is, this is the definition that I use. An interface that is designed to reuse existing skills for interacting appropriately with content. There's three parts to this definition, so let's go through them. First, designed. When you create a natural user interface, there's so many new possibilities that you must have a design process. There's no one interface design that would work for all users, tasks, devices, or environments. You have to have a process to figure out the most appropriate design for the specific scenario. Reuse existing skills. I'm not just talking about computer skills, but also skills from beyond the world of computing. There are two categories we can draw inspiration from. General human skills, such as eye contact, facial expressions, speech, pointing, touching, and manipulating objects are skills that we can use to figure out what's an easy way for someone to apply those skills to an interface design. The other category is domain-specific skills. If you're creating an application for a surgeon or an architect, you can draw inspiration from the skills that they have that the general public does not. I don't just mean physical skills, such as what kind of tools that they use, but also cognitive skills, such as how they think about their jobs and how they organize information. Finally, interacting appropriately with content. We already talked about appropriateness, so let's focus on the content. People use your application to view, search, create, or modify content. They don't care about the Chrome or non-content interface elements. So you need to maximize the content and minimize the Chrome. If you create a design that makes sense where the user can directly interact with the content with no buttons or other Chrome, that's probably a good start. 
You only need to add interface elements when it's necessary to make the application easier to use or understand. Another reason I like this definition of NUI is that for those of us whose jobs it is to create natural user interfaces, this provides a starting point for solving three of the main challenges involved in creating them. We have to focus on the design process to navigate the broad world of possibilities that these new sensors and concepts provide. We can think about what the humans bring to the table in terms of skills, and finally, what do we need to bring to the table as far as what the application does. The natural user interface is a new way of thinking about the relationship between humans and computers. We can no longer think about computers as just dumb tools that we use to achieve a specific goal. Computers are now powerful enough and have enough sensors to exhibit real intelligent behavior. Accordingly, we need to consider humans and computers to be a partnership. As we design natural user interfaces and interactions, we need to keep in mind the user's expectations for this human-computer partnership and create applications that meet or exceed those expectations. I believe the Kinect sensor has a huge role to play in the human-computer partnership. It can serve as the eyes and ears of your application. The Kinect depth and color sensors provide a 3D colorized view into the real world. The Kinect SDK tracks the skeletons of any humans it can see. And the Kinect microphone array is very reliable for recognizing human speech. All of this is available in one integrated device and makes it possible to create a wide variety of interactions. There are so many possible ways to design motion tracking interactions with Kinect that it can be hard to know where to get started. In situations like these, it's always a good idea to reflect on the reuse existing skills aspect of NUI and think about what your human users already know. There's two main categories of human action human communication, us talking to other people, and environmental interaction. Let me give an example. With environmental interaction, you could take a picture and hang it on a wall and adjust it left or right until it's level and directly affect your own change on the environment. In contrast with human communication, you can ask a friend to adjust the picture up a little bit or down a little bit on the right or the left and they would need to intelligently interpret your meaning and take action autonomously on your behalf. So how can we use this understanding of human nature to design computer interfaces? It turns out that human communication and environmental interaction are perfect metaphors for two NUI concepts, gestures and manipulations. Let's think about an example of this. With a Kinect, you can raise your hand and a bit of intelligence in the Kinect application observes this and engages you by displaying your hand cursor. This is a gesture that intelligently interpreted and engaged with you. While engaged, you can move your hand around to manipulate the hand cursor. It continuously follows your hand movements and provides real-time reaction. This is a manipulation. Those two examples are individual gestures and manipulations, but many interactions are actually composed of both. Let's look at another example. With Connect Interactions, you can move your hand cursor over a list, grab, and scroll the list left or right, and then release. The scrolling is a manipulation. You directly affect the movement of the list with your hand and the application continuously updates the list position based upon the stream of skeleton data from your hand joint. But how does the application know when to use the stream of hand data for moving the list or doing another action? The answer is the grip gesture. When you grip over the list, you're in effect saying, computer, please enter into scrolling mode for this list. When you release the grip, you're saying, computer, please exit from scrolling mode, and the list is released. In this video, we learned what natural user interfaces are, some ideas to consider when designing a natural user interface, and a few of the reasons why Connect is an important part of the human-computer partnership. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or feedback about this video. Thanks for watching.